Cognitive testing in the UK is helping researchers understand more about dementia. However, lower literacy levels in some countries can present a challenge to standard models of testing for the condition. Alzheimer Scotland Dementia Research Centre is working to develop screening tests that can be used both nationally and internationally to support ongoing research. Louise Holland went to Edinburgh in Scotland to meet the team. All I'd like you to do is trace a line with the pencil inside the spiral maze here. Yes. Um, work as quickly as you can without touching the black lines on the sides or any of these obstacles. Right. Okay, so when you're ready, start from the starting point here. This is the Wellcome Trust Clinical Facility at Western General Hospital in Edinburgh, which is at the heart of cutting-edge research into dementia based on cognitive testing. If you want to treat people who have dementia or prevent them from getting dementia, you need to know whether what you're doing is effective. The main part of dementia, the thing you have to have to get dementia, is impairment or decline in cognitive abilities. That's the ability to remember things, to solve problems, to process information, etc. So we need to find good ways to measure that. Alzheimer Scotland Dementia Research Centre at the University of Edinburgh works to improve our understanding of what causes dementia and the links between symptoms and changes in the brain. We're very, very fortunate. We have very good resources and we link into studies such as the Lothian Birth Cohort 1936 study, which I've been involved with for many years. So we have a range of lots of information to help us predict who might go on to develop dementia. The Lothian Birth Cohorts tested the intelligence of 11-year-olds living around Edinburgh in Scotland in 1921 and 1936. And by retesting the people who'd taken part in the survey, it offered researchers the rare opportunity to study cognitive ageing through a lifetime. I think it's important because what they find out from us uh, it should be beneficial for people who are not ageing so well. And uh, dementia comes into this as well. They are finding things out all the time that are useful for the general public. I'd like you to name as many animals as possible, OK? You'll have one minute to do this. Whilst there's no question that cognitive testing is crucial to research into dementia and Alzheimer's, there's still debate about the best way to carry out that research. There's many different ways that you can assess cognitive function and it depends on who you're assessing and how you're assessing them. So there's studies like the Lothian Birth Cohort study where, where the testing is face to face. When you're doing that sort of assessment, it means that you can collect quite detailed information on cognitive function. But nowadays there's more of a focus on large scale testing. So there's some studies where, that are recruiting tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of participants. And it's not possible to do this sort of face to face one-to-one -one testing because they are time-consuming and they're expensive. People are now relying on more automated cognitive assessments. The number of people living with dementia globally is thought to be around 46.8 million and that number is set to nearly triple by 2050. So it's never been more important to invest time and money into making sure that these tests can be carried out around the world, including in some very challenging locations. The parts of the world where dementia is in going to increase in its prevalence will be parts like South Asia, uh, East Asia, where there are millions upon millions of people who are going to develop dementia. And those people, on the whole, are less literate than they are in this country. You need to have something which people can do easily and which you don't need to be particularly educated or literate to do. So you take an everyday object that you might have, say, pose a mug or a cup, but you want to really find out from them what else you could do. I might listen to people through the wall with it. I might use it as a musical instrument. There's lots of things I could use this for. This is a test of mental flexibility. So you need tests that can be administered easily by someone. You need tests that are easily comprehensible. They don't require you to have had a big education. You have tests, need tests that make sense to people. I think the whole thing is, is splendid and I'm very pleased to be part of it.